Hey everyone, welcome back to Colorful Indian. It's really good to see you here. Today we are going to be getting into Wicked Widow Beauty's brand new palette, Love Sick. So I hope that you're excited about that. I've got product shots for you, swatches, and two tutorials in this video. And I really can't wait to show you how this performs. I'm super excited to see that as well for myself. Before we get into all of this exciting material, I wanted to introduce myself. My name is Ranita, and I like to do makeup swatches, tutorials, reviews. I also do unboxings. Um, you can go and check out my latest unboxing boxing of Ipsy and BoxyCharm and the Icon box. It is already uploaded and it's on the channel right now if that's something of interest to you. And um, if you find all of this content resonating with you, then you know please hit that subscribe button because I would love to see more of you. The Lovesick palette is the latest addition to the Wicked Widow Beauty family and it is an 8-pan palette. So it's got four highly pigmented mattes ranging from deep purples to light pinks and four shifty duochromes. Each shade is named after a popular emo love song and it's it's also a magnetic palette which means that you can build your own color stories if you want to with the palette and even travel with it for safety of your shades. So it's the perfect way to show off your love for the emo genre and create some beautiful looks at the same time. It's available on the 2nd of February at 12 p.m. and it retails for $36. It is part of a collection so you are going to see some beautiful lipsticks. That's the, the Lovesick Lip Trio. Um, there are three shades here, Dark Desire, Petalist, Rose and Enchanted Spell. These retail for $34 and there's also a makeup bag. Today we're only going to be reviewing the palette because that's what I have with me right now and we're going to begin some looks. Okay so I'm going to go in with the first look and I'm pretty excited because I know the mattes from Wicked Widow are pretty amazing so I'm going in with the very first shade which is Letting Go. It's like this kind of purpley pink and it looks really really pretty and I'm going to be adding it here to the ends of my eyes and oh my goodness this uh, formula, honestly Wicked Widow, the formula it's incredible and just just like I'm not even wearing a white base and just look at that it's it's so fantastic okay Ooh, I can't wait to see what this is gonna look like because I'm gonna be doing a pink look and I don't think I've done a pink look in a very very long time so I'm just uh, blending it out a bit there and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side my base has creased a little bit because I was doing things so I'm just yeah tapping that out um, I've gone in with my Alter Ego eyeshadow base, which is um, the base that I have basically switched to ever since I discovered that. And uh, we are going to tap all of this color on here. And just look at this. This is really, really beautiful. Okay, so you can see how beautiful that looks. I'm going in now for Worlds Apart. Uh, this is also very pigmented, so I'm actually dusting my brush off on my towel over here. And I'm just going and gently tapping it here because I don't want super pigmented like pink lids. Um, I feel like it becomes a panda eye when I go too far out. So I'm just doing this, tapping out here. So you can see there's um, a distinct pink from that. It is different and you know if you wanted you could even blend that out a bit more on the top. Um, I don't have a lot of that color on my brush because, like I said, I'm trying to get a blended effect. So if I take too much, I'm not going to get that effect. So anyway, I'm just blending it out with the worlds apart again. Because that's more of like a pastel pink. Just getting rid of that white cast that's on my eyes. And I, I really like the way that this is looking so far. Okay, so now we're going to go in for the duochromes, and I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I feel like Memories and Fall For You are probably going to be the best ones. So, All right, so this is Memories over here on my brush, and we are adding it onto my lid. And it goes so perfectly with that pink shade. Oh my goodness. It really does. It goes so, so, so well. Um, you can also see a red coming through from this particular shade in some lights. It is, it's really got some beautiful shifts and it is so creamy. Oh, you know, I wasn't expecting to create like a very soft kind of look, but I feel like that's um, what, what's going to happen and I'm really happy about it. I really don't mind. Let's see how this fares if I use my finger. So I got it on my finger and I'm just going to go and stamp it in. I feel like the color payoff is definitely a lot better with the finger. Okay, I'm going to stamp um, on the other side too, just to kind of get a little bit more 
color on that lid but you can use your brush if you want to don't worry about that because it was still pretty pigmented even with the brush okay now we're going in for the shade fall for you which is a really beautiful look at that <laughs> gosh okay um let's just add that on and enjoy the magic that is oh my goodness this is gorgeous oh wow i love this i really do it is so 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 freaking gorgeous oh i love this it's the perfect combination i just need to grab a brush and drag some in words and then take this one a bit out this is so so beautiful okay let's do the other eye so um one thing that you notice from this shade which is fall for you is that it comes out as this gorgeous kind of like bluey winter like a wintry kind of blue shade on your lids and it's just magical wow i'm i'm just enjoying this and i wasn't even expecting my look to be this way I really, I really wasn't expecting my look to be this way and I'm so happy that it turned out to look this way because I honestly thought it was going to be a lot more pink but it's, it's such a gorgeous shade and it kind of has this translucent thing going on which I really like when I turn my eyes it kind of looks like my skin color and then I come back here and it's, yeah that's, that's fascinating. Okay, so I'm going to go clean up my eyes and uh, I will come back and complete the look. Hey everyone, this is the finished look. Now, unfortunately, I forgot that I hadn't come back here to you guys and given you the makeup details and I happily took off my lashes. So uh, yeah, this is why my eyes are looking a little empty at the moment but um this is the final look though so i will give you the makeup details so i started with my alter ego eyeshadow base and that is the base that i use for practically every single look i do recommend investing in one of these if you have oily lids or if you want your eyeshadow to just stay on the entire day it provides amazing coverage and your makeup just stays it doesn't melt or anything like that and that's the thing i love about the base um if you have very oily lids you can even do a double coat and you know that makes things work so much better now for my eyeliner which you can see over there i went in with the kylie jenner uh lip pencil in the shade hollyberry i really do love this shade i feel like it works amazingly as a uh, uh, an eyeliner honestly like it's just so freaking good um for the rest of my face my foundations i went in with yensa beauty that's this one over here i also went in with sephora's best skin ever foundation um and then i went in with a blusher from um, Giorgio Armani that would be in the shade Desire so that's 61 Desire you can see the blusher on my cheeks right over there no highlighter for this one the only the last thing that I should probably mention is my lipstick which consisted of two shades from Lime Crime so I went in with Beat It first which is that pink shade and then I went over it with um, Scandal Scandal is kind of like this deeper purple shade and I kind of felt that because the look does have purple tones I felt that you know it was going to make a better like match to my mouth by just using both shades and that's really it for the makeup details it's very similar it's very simple if you want to get the rhinestones and the eyelashes that i used um you can go and uh, check out Temu. Um, Temu has a lot of cheap things and uh, you know you can pick some really good deals from there. Shein's also pretty okay for that and uh, that's basically it like working with these four shades um let me give you my thoughts on the four shades that we've worked with. So we've done uh, this one, that one, this one, and that one over there. The mattes were so creamy, so, so creamy, so easy to blend, so pigmented, and they go beautifully into my skin. I feel like they really, um, they, they've just kind of blended so beautifully into the skin. It kind of gives, it, like I said, it was going to, it's, like I said in the beginning, I suspected it was going to become a soft look, and it has kind of become pretty soft to me. Um, I really do like it, and I, I really enjoyed using those duochromes, you know, the, the shifts and everything. It's really, really fun, and I think that if you were to use the shade Fall For You, which is primarily pink when you look at it in the pan, but I think that because I didn't have a pink base there, it shows more of that blue. So I think that if you were to actually have, like, a pink eyeshadow over there, you would do... Um, I think if you were to actually have a pink eyeshadow here, you'd get a very, very different result. Um, hopefully, like in the future, I'm able to actually play around with that and kind of give you a better idea of what that would look like. Um, so the next look that we're going to be doing is the last four shades. We're going to be going in with this one over here, Love Like Winter, and then we're going to go in with um, Come Back Home, that brown one, this one, and that 
purple shade over there. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the second tutorial. Hey everyone, welcome back. So this is the second tutorial. So I've already gone in with my alter ego base. I'm going to be going in with the remaining matte shades. Now this is a brown toned shade. So I'm just going to take Come Back Home over here. That's that one over there. And we're just going to add that to the ends of my eyes. Yeah, that's actually really pretty. It actually, I thought it was going to be like a brown, but it kind of looks like this interesting purple kind of brown shade. It's very, very fascinating. Yeah. But I actually really like that. I think it goes well with my skin tone. So I'm just blending that outwards, keeping it pretty soft and casual for this one as well. Um... And now I'm going to go in with the other matte shade, that's the Three Last Words shade. So that's the um, lavender purple in this. As before, I'm just tapping off that excess powder and we're just going to go and stamp it over here. You can see that? Yeah, you can definitely see how it's turning out. So if you want it to be like very, very focused and far more pigmented than this, you shouldn't be tapping off that excess. You just need to, um, you know, go in with a lot more pigment and you'll get that but for this look I'm kind of going in again for a softer toned look okay so now we're gonna go in with the um, duochromes I'm gonna grab the um, ultra eco base again I'm just gonna go over that because you know it's more or less been covered up already and I think that my eyeshadow will probably look a lot better with another layer of this so this is another way that you can work if you feel like you need to. You don't have to, like for the previous look I didn't do that, but if you want like a much stronger effect, sometimes I like to do this. And you have to work very, very quickly when you do this too, because um, this base dries up pretty quickly. So anyway, we're going in with the first duochrome. So I'm going in with Love Like Winter, which is a deep purple. Tapping it over here. That is really, really pretty. Wow. It's a very beautiful purple shade. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm not going to be too neat over here because, like I said, I need to work quickly. I can come back and correct whatever I need to correct after this. Yeah, that looks perfect. And now I'm going to go in with the shade Goodnight Moon. What a cute name. Yeah. And we've got such a pretty shade too. And this is kind of like gold. Wow, look at that. It's pretty fascinating, isn't it? So I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other lid. Definitely um, would not have thought of this combination. So the, the thing is that you don't have to actually, you know, do four shades like how I'm doing it right now. Like, I'm doing this so that you can kind of see how all the shades perform and so I can give you my thoughts on this, but um, with an 8 pan eyeshadow palette, you could also just go 2 by 2 so you could just do, you know, this, this pink with that pink, this purple with that color, this white with that purple, and likewise. Um, I kind of like the way this is looking, though it's very different and I don't think I've done anything like this. I think that looks pretty okay. Um, I need my mirror to be a bit closer. I just want to add one more eyeshadow to the look. Um, I'm gonna go in with Letting Go. I just kind of feel like maybe that would work a little bit better for this one. I feel because I'm ending with purple, I kind of just want to see a matte purple shade at the ends of my lids. And I'm gonna blend it out with the other shade, but yeah, I, can, I kind of like that a lot better than um, ending with the brown. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna add a little bit here and then we're gonna just blend that out hey everyone this is the second look and as you can see it is complete and I'm really really happy with the way that this turned out now I did go in with a bit more shades for this one so we used um, one extra shade and that was letting go over here but basically we've tried out every single shade in the palette and you can see what this looks like I was not expecting to get this shade at all and the truth is after I actually um, created this look I was reminded of 
the Province palette by Nomad Cosmetics. I don't think it's available anymore, but um, that's essentially why I paired it with a lip gloss from the Province collection. It's really, really pretty. It's kind of like pink with this gold sheen, and you know, I felt like the shades on my eyes really went with that. So let me give you the makeup details and I'll give you my thoughts on the palette. So for my foundation, again, I went in with Yensa Beauty and Sephora Best Skin Ever. Um, so for Yensa Beauty, the shade is Neutral Tan and then Sephora Best Skin Ever, I used the 33.5 Why? I don't really use a lot of foundation anymore. I just use it on the problem areas and then the rest of my skin is just skincare. You know, it, it, it's what you see and what you get. Um, I went in with a little bit of blusher by Yensa as well. It's a silk cream blush in the shade Radiant Rose. I think it's really, really lovely. I really enjoy using Yensa's blushes and you can see what this looks like on my skin tone. It looks very natural. You can't really see too much of it and that's actually what I like. So that's why I like Yensa so much. Um, and then I think, yeah, that's about, oh, no, no, wait, I have an eye pencil, yeah, um, this is by Morphe, Morphe has, obviously, I, I don't think Morphe's around anymore, right, they're, they're pretty much gone at this point, but this is a pencil that I bought, and, uh, I really do like it, it's called Falling for Green, I bought this before they, you know, went bankrupt and everything, so, uh, yeah, that's the green eyeliner that you can see right over here underneath my eyes, um, and the purple eyeliner, that you can see on my lid is actually this one over here. This is by Temu. It's like a 72 cents eyeliner. I do not feel comfortable using these eyeliners in my waterline because whenever I have used them in my waterline, I've just gotten this weird burning sensation, but it's okay when I put it on the top. So um, I do use it for the top and that's about it really. Um, yeah, there's no more makeup details. Rhinestones and eyelashes are from Temu or you can go and check out Sheen and get something if that's also something that you're comfortable with. But my thoughts on the palette are that I think it's really cute. It's a very sweet palette. Um, I think that, you know, I would be interested in just doing two shade looks, you know, maybe uh, closer to Valentine's Day. Let's see how that goes. Or maybe combining this with shades from um, Resurrection because I feel like, I, I just I just feel like this is very, very cute. It's, it kind of could be used in a way to extend Resurrection, which is a beautiful palette. And I like the fact that it's tiny and cute. I feel like that's a selling point for Wicked Widow. Um, you know, you can just pack and you can remove these shades if you don't want these specific ones with other shades from their collection and just you know create your own custom story and for me that's a pretty strong selling point um i like the packaging i love the formula of these as you can see my eyes are looking really really pretty um, i'm gonna bring you in just so that you can kind of see for yourself and um i'll hold up the mirror also so that you can see what this looks like on my lids you should be able to see a slight, um, yeah, I can see shifts, I can see shifts, yeah. It's a duochrome, so you are going to see like a shift happening. Right, so I have done the comparisons of shades, um, you know, from Resurrection and this current palette, and I'm going to show them to you right now. So I'm just going to put these very closely so that you can kind of see. So just bear with me. That first purple shade that you can see, that's the pastel one, that is from the Resurrection palette. That would be Belief. The one right next to that is um, the shade Three Last Words, which is from the latest palette. And then I also went in with Ethereal. Uh, you can see that Ethereal is actually kind of, it's kind of green. Like when I'm moving my arm like that, it turns green. And um, the other shade that is from the current uh, Lovesick palette does not turn green. And you, you can also see that this one kind of goes to purple and pink. Uh, this one does not go to purple and pink because Goodnight Moon is obviously a duochrome. And then the last two shades over there, which are those um, deeper shades, that's a comparison of the shade Adorned Carving, Adorned Carving from Resurrection. And right next to that, we have the shade Memories. So uh, you can see there's a very, very clear difference in those shades. Adorn Carving is kind of like, it has a black base and that's coming through so strongly over here. Um, and you can obviously see that the other shade over here, which is um, Memories, does not have that black base. So they are all different shades. Similar, but very different. All right, so final review. Um, the shades are very, very nice. They're very pretty. I think that the formula is good. It's reminiscent definitely of the Graveyard 2 Smash palette, and I actually think that I could probably create some really nice looks if I combine some of the shades from that palette and this one as well. Um, I enjoy doing the looks. I think that's very, very pretty, and 
Um, I've, I've really come to appreciate anything and everything that Wicked Widow Beauty throws out because I just love the formula. So if you're someone who is looking for a strong formula, um, I would say, you know, go for it because you're building your Wicked Widow Beauty collection and uh, I'm, I'm happy with mine. I really, really am. So for me, this is a wonderful palette. So let me know what your thoughts are on this palette. I was happy that I was able to test it out for you and, you know, try every shade. I really think the formula is wonderful and uh, I'm excited to see, you know, all the looks that people are going to be creating with it as well. So um, if you want to pick up this palette, I do have a quote with them. It's uh, Ranita and it's, you know, it's going to get you some cash off. So thank you for joining me. If you found this video useful, then I would love if you could subscribe and uh, I will see you soon for another video. Before I go, I'm just very thankful to Wicked Widow Beauty for sending this palette over because it enabled me to test it out and share my thoughts with you. So have a wonderful week and I will see you soon for another video. Bye-bye!